Welcome back, everyone. This is the second half of the Astro Tarot Show, the divination portion of the show. And um, let's get right to it. Let's see what these cards have to say. We're going to read those after this one. This is our first one. So let's see what our Celtic Treat Oracle has to say. Okay, so we have more the sea. Isn't that beautiful? So this connects us to the water elements, the undines, silkies, that sort of thing. Um, this can represent more of the sea. This is, you know, technically not part of the Celtic Tree Oracle, but it is in this deck. And this is connecting us to, to the sea. It is connecting us to um, like a, the great mother goddess, for example, the, you know, the primordial waters of the womb. Um, and this also connects us to ancestors. Uh, we think of, when I see the sea, I think of the god Mananan. I also think of the moon, like moon goddess. But this represents a journey or a pilgrimage that you might take. Um, this could represent your homeland. Like, you know, when you're going through ancestry, this is going to be more connected to your matriarch, of your um, the um, maternal ancestors. Um, taking a, a journey back to the homelands. Taking a journey um, back to you know, your family's roots. Now, this also connects us. It's water, and it connects us to our emotion and healing. And and it does connect us to the mysteries, but it can also be telling us that it is a time to delve into the studies of the mysteries, uh, to learn more about our roots, um, our maternal side. And, you know, it's asking us to take time to connect with our ancestors. Okay, I want to go on in the reading and um, see how this is going to fit in, okay? So next, let's read our Mystic Sisters. And this is Sisterhood of the Silk Row. Isn't that beautiful? I miss all of my belly dance clothes I have. But anyway... <laughs> That's another story. So, sisters, uh, sisterhood of the Silk Road. Well, this is also about taking a journey. Um, it's about traveling, uh, like having a wanderlust, going to explore, um, like open, being open-minded and learning about different cultures and having that adventure in order to learn more. And so this is about a journey and this is about a journey and this is connecting us. These are sisterhood. So this is like really connecting us to some feminine energy here. Um, this, you know, this card is about travel. Uh, uh, feeling that it's also going to, um, it's not just about, and in this one, this isn't just about travel that you're just going to have fun at. This is about travel, taking a journey that's going to change you from the soul out. This is something that is going to be very moving, very awakening, and a journey not just of, not just by actually, you know, going somewhere, but it is a journey of the soul. So let's see what our woodland wardens have to say. Okay, we have the ram and the dahlia. And this is about determination. So as many of you know, I am an Aries. I'm, I'm an Arian sun and um, rising. So I am very familiar with the ram and the determination that the ram has to literally bulldoze everything that gets in their way, any obstacles. This is determination. Now, this is also going to connect me to uh, Taurus as well, because Taurus with the bull is about determination as well. But let's, you know, with this card about determination, it's about having the power to, um, to you know, get what you want. You know, this is a journey. 
okay? And, you know, people always, you know, when people talk to me about different things, they said, oh my goodness, this is easier said than done. And yeah, you know, things are easier said than done, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, if you want to do it, you will do it. No questions asked. If it is something that you truly want, you will work for it and get it. And this card is telling you it is time to take action. So this is about removing obstacles that stand in your way. This is about um, going forward, being strong. You know, the ram has some really strong horns and it it's known to headbutt everything that gets in its way. And this is, this is saying that, you know, this card right here is telling us that, you know, um, be persistent in what you are do, what you're going after and what you want what you are hoping to create what you're hoping to manifest um these two are journeys and this can be physical yes but this can also be the journey of the soul and let's read the other cards before we get really deep into this and let's see how this is fitting into the puzzle of these energies of august the 2nd through i believe the 9th so let's look at the bottom of the card. Well, okay. The bottom of the card we have is the fool. You see, he has his little faithful companion here. The sky is yellow, which means newness and youngness and joy, happiness, that sort of thing. He's looking up as if he is looking for that divine guidance. He is carrying only what he needs and he is he has that white rose in his hand that is saying it is time for a new beginning um the fool tells us that we need to trust in ourselves to trust in our ability the fool is the first card that we have upon the journey the the hero's journey which is the um you know the first uh, the the first of the tarot the major arcana that is that spiral that that major arcana represents the spiral of growth of our soul so when we look at these cards and that's that's one of the things that um I'm trying to teach people is that you know, these cards are more than just, they can be more than just telling us, you know, if we're going to find love next week or if we're going to find money next week, whatever. This can help us grow as an individual and become stronger and more resilient and determined, giving us that strength, knowing who we are, you know, <clears throat> know thyself. You know, we hear that all the time and I know that's just a little portion of it, but know thyself. Well, that is about trusting in yourself and making the decisions that you need to make. <coughs> Excuse me. This card is definitely telling us that, you know, it is time for us to spread our wings and to fly. There is great potential, but if we don't go after it, we'll never discover it. So let's look at our past, our foundation of this, where we're coming from. And here we're come, we have the King of Wands. Well, the King of Wands, you see his little lizard here. Lizards connect us to the underworld. He is looking out. He is searching for something. Something has his attention. He's wearing the red and the, this little greenish yellow color. He's got his dragons there. So... Um, the King of Wands represents the element of fire, okay? So this is about swift moving, and um, for this to be in our foundation, this is where we have been successful. We have went on, you know, we have made many, um, we, have cre we have created things. We have been successful at something, um, we have gained some sort of power, some sort of, uh, um, strength within ourselves. Okay. So we have done some work. This is indicating that, you know, we have in the past, you know, where we're starting from is that is taken great strength and determination in order to get where we are, but we can't forget what we went through. He's looking back, you know? And he's, it, it's almost like he's remembering. Don't forget 
you know, the work that you've already done. You've worked hard to get where you are. Don't discredit that. Don't discredit what you have went through, what you have, um, what you have gained, you know, what you have already worked hard to, to get. So let's go on to our second card, which is the present. And it is, okay, we have the seven of swords. And when I see this card, the first thing I will say is it is time to gather up what you need and to leave the rest, leave what is no longer needed. Um, these are two swords that are in the ground, and you can tell that they are in the ground, almost like they're rooted in the ground. So, you know, there's some things that we can't change. There's some things that do not go uh, forward with us into the future. And, you know, and, and right now, it could be a time where this can also represent betrayal. So, it can be a time where you have experienced some sort of betrayal or maybe trickery. Um, um, but you know, this card can be about theft as well. Like, uh, someone stealing something from you or taking more than their share. Um, this card, you know, the swords represent air. Um, this could, you know, uh, in that sense, it could be intellectual property, some sort. But for this one, the present, I do feel this was going more into, um, you know, having the willpower. Because you see the yellow back here? We have the fool's card, the yellow. This is about joy. This is about, you know, um, it's time to move on. It's time to get what you need, get what's important to you, your values. Venus is in retrograde right now, so we are... Uh, reassessing our values. We are looking into where we invest our money and our time as well as our emotions. And it's telling you that there's some things that you're going to have to leave behind in order to go forward. And with this journey here, this is looking more and more, this is going to be a journey of the soul. This is more of a healing, more of a, uh, an opening, more of receiving as well. <clears throat> but it's definitely time to move forward. So let's go to our third card, and that is our help, you know, what is aiding us, what is going to assist us in this time. And we have the King of Pentacles. Lovely. Well, the King of Pentacles, again, we have that yellow sky. So that is joy. That is happiness. And look at him. He is surrounded by prosperity. Um, the King of Pentacles is holding. He has control over the physical and he has control over his material. He has worked hard to get to where this is. And this is what is aiding you. The work that you have done, the King of Pentacles, well, the kings represent, um, all kings represent fire. Okay, so the King of Wands would be the King of Fire of Fire. And here we have... Um, the king, in, which is fire of earth, okay? So that is action in earth. That is actions that you have taken in order to get you to this place. So you have, you have been working at building yourself a solid foundation, um, building a good character. Maybe you have been learning and getting intelligence. This is, this is about, um, you know, the earth element is um, connected to Taurus. So it's about um, producing. Okay. So this is, and he is setting up and you can see he's up high because he's at level with the tops of that castle there. And he is surrounded by all of this foliage, which is healing. He has, um, you know, he's worked, he's worked hard to get where he is at. And don't forget that. Don't forget the actions that you have and what you have accomplished, right? Again, these are the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles is that top. That is the mastery over that. So there is something that you've done that you're really good at that you have been working on. And, you know, it could very well, um, this is that foundation that you have built for yourself. You have done this. So, this also, okay, at this point, can bring some change. It can bring some change in our life because 
um, we have reached the top level. So it's about movement. But here for this reading, this is saying that you have been building a solid foundation for yourself. Don't forget that, okay? You've been working hard and you've been very determined. But remain, remain the master over yourself. Now let's talk about um, our worries or where we feel concerned. Okay, the moon. Well, the moon, number one, tells us that, you know, not all things were are, are, um, as they seem, right? Some things may be hidden. The, the moon has a dark side. And, and just like us, we have different sides. We have that light and we have that dark. And we also have that in between. But for this, maybe you are worrying, am, am I really seeing this for what it is? Am I really, you know, you're second guessing yourself. So this is, this is uh, connected to our subconscious. So that could be a negative, and for this to be our worry card, this could be some of the negative dialogue that's going on in your inner self. Um, you know, try not to deceive yourself. And, you know, that could be worrying well, especially when you have this one, especially if, you know, you have this one, which this card is connected to deceit. Okay. So when we're looking at this, you know, maybe we are worrying that, you know, there's things or maybe you feel like something is missing. Something has not uh, presented itself right. But, um, you know, this is this is connected to water so we can have those illusions right and you know for this to be where it's at let's see and this to be what is helping us we really need to learn to trust in ourselves more remember the self-mastery okay if you're feeling that something it is off maybe something is but just like everything we have to allow it to unfold because this goes into our this astrology it may it may seem odd it may not be working out the way it is but it's saying that you know maybe it's time that you take a different path this little um oh what are they called not a crawdad but um crawfish he's got to go up this this is his journey that he must take okay this is a major arcana this is a major arcana as well. So this is saying to us that these are some things that we are having to work through. This ha The moon has to do with our intuition. We have the water, the primordial waters of creation was connected to our travel. Um, you know, to intuition as well. Mystery. Mysteries. Okay, you see how this is going in? There is something that is a bigger picture that's playing out here. And we have to learn how to see that bigger picture. So now we are going to look at um, that our environment, um, what is happening around us. And, okay, we have the five of wands. Well, you can see here that these people are fighting and they don't look like they're, they look like they're just banging sticks around to be banging sticks around. And, you know, this to be in your environment, this could very much be talking about there's a lot of chaos in your environment right now. Um, wands are connected to fire. And, you know, this is, this can be unexpected energy. Um, conflict, you know, and this, this could be changes, but you know, five, the number five on here, that's always connected to change. But sometimes this has to deal with our inner dialogue about stop being your own worst enemy. Stop fighting yourself in your head. But for this to be in your environment, this is really saying that, you know, you're making, you're taking a journey. Okay. And you're meeting obstacles. And you're really having to figure this out. I want to look at our advice really quick before we look at our outcome. Okay. <laughs> of course, we have another major arcana card. And major arcana cards is not to me, and this is how I, I like to explain it as they are not mutable. 
This represents a journey of the soul, a journey, this hero's journey. Like I said, the major arcana is that spiral journey that we have to go through, the hero's journey that we have to walk in order to understand our life and deeper, deeper meaning. This is deeper meaning. This is connected to the mysteries, deeper meaning. This is about connecting, um, um, of, of listening to the guidance of, of the universe, of divinity, God, goddess, whatever you want to call it. That is about listening to that divine guidance, okay? And we get to hear is your advice. Well, the tower card is all about change. This is stuff that is happening whether you like it or not. That is about the cycle that we have to learn, that we go through. Our earth has its own cycles. It has its own um, waning and waxing. You know, remember, we, it wasn't too long ago, we had the ice age here, right? We're still seeing um, the evolution of that. And this is about the evolution of our soul. And we are really connected right here. This is, this is deeper than the surface. The tower card is connected to Mars. This is connected to fire. So this is, you know, the thing about fires is that they will consume all, just burn it all up to obliteration. But the thing about those burns, like controlled burns that they do, that makes the life come back better and it, it fertilizes it gives the earth what it needs um this is change your advice is changing what you thought that you had um that what you thought that you were building where you thought you were going how you thought this was playing out is not going to be uh, playing out the way that you thought it was. This could be a great reality check for you. And, um, and you know, this is, this is happening to a lot of people right now. We have a lot of things that are changing and we have a lot of, of, of shifts in our skies that is, that is really sending those ripples of change through us. Um, this is telling you that change is coming, whether you like it or not. And you can either, um, learn to um, go with the flow and adapt to be mutable or you know you will be drug you know you're either on the side of the river hanging on to the branches trying to hang on for dear life getting beat up by that rough current or you relax and you go into the middle and flow with the universe there's the difference um, you know and, and here again this is about trusting in yourself, trusting in your intuition and where you are going and what you are trying to create and what you are trying to manifest in your life. This is not just simply about, um, you know, making those decisions that, um, you know, uh, am I going to eat a cheeseburger today or am I going to eat healthy? No, this is deeper. When you have the major arcana in this, this is definitely telling us that there is some major change that is going on within us. And this is really, really going to affect us, not just tomorrow and not just for next week, but in years to come. But again, it's, you got the term you got the determination to do this. You can do this. You're strong, strength. You've worked hard to obtain. You are active in getting to where you are now. You know, you have really worked at building your life and building your world. You've really worked hard to help yourself get a solid foundation and, and you know, to grow on. But just as everything, there is, there is a peak and then there is decline and then there is a peak again. That is is our growth. Now, let's see what the um the future outcome of it all is. Okay, we have the 3 of pentacles. Okay. Wonderful card. You see this man, he is standing up on his little stool there. He's working on his project and he's almost like he's teaching them. And you see he's got this um I don't know. These are, I guess, a woman, man, whatever. 
they've got these, these um, details out here and they're going over this. Well, three is about creation, right? The three is such a magical number and it represents the masculine, the feminine, and then the child, okay? So, um, this is about teamwork. So, you have one that's reading. I'm going to bring this up so you can get read, see it again. You have one that's reading the directions off and they're talking and they're doing these things. So, for this, you may have to work with a team. You may have to... Um, ask for help, um, but this is about a realization as well, um, something that you're working on. It may be best. We have, you know, Venus that's, um, Venus is doing her retrograde in Leo, and Venus is all about relationships and partnerships, so this is one where we are um, consulting with others that um, are like-minded, but, you know, you don't want, you don't want an echo chamber, you know, that's the simple, that's the, the biggest thing here is you don't want to echo chamber through this. You want people that are going to talk to you and that are going to give you advice that are going to really offer some, some creative criticism that will help you go forward. This is connected to the earth element and this is about building, okay? This is about also, um, you know, joining groups. Um, it's about communication, okay? You see, they're, they're communicating with each other. So this is about, you know, for this ultimate outcome, it is to connect with others that are like yourself that can help you through um, these challenges that you may be going through, right? These, these help you gain the strength to knock out those, um, those obstacles that you may have. So this is a really good reading, guys, for this week. This is showing our growth and it's showing how we are growing and where we are on our soul growth, right? But it, we have to take ownership of it. We have to take ownership of, you know, of where we are. And even though, you know, we have to understand that our decisions and the decisions that we have made, the actions that we have made in the past has put us to where we are today. And those actions created change in our life. And now it's time to move past, move the, leave the past behind us and some of our old ways. And, you know, to recognize, be grateful for what we have achieved. You know, we, we always tend to want to wallow. But guys, a lot of us have it better than many people in this world. So be grateful for the abundance that you have. Be grateful for the ideas that you've had. Um, be grateful for um, what your lessons have taught you. Be grateful for those things that you have produced. Um, don't regret. Learn. Regret is when you, you're you not seeing the bigger picture. When you are regretting what happened in your past, you're not seeing the bigger picture. It's what put you where you are today. It's your actions. You are the only one that can determine how it's going to go, if it's going to be good or bad. That's you. That is you. So let's pick another card here. I'm going to do this. Let's pick one. Oh, this one pops out to me. Familiar. Listen and learn. There you go. Listen and learn. Over here, too. Listen and learn. That's connecting you to um, others. You know, reaching out to other groups and um, that, you know, go that are connected to what you're going through, what you need. That's, ooh, this one wants to come out. That sort of thing. And listen and learn. Uh, many people talk and they want to, when they have these conversations, they're not listening to the other person. They're preparing for the rebuttal. They feel like they have to get their point across. They have to get their point across. They have. No, you don't. That's your ego. If you are so worried about getting your point across, you're not learning. And next, we have Lilith. Reclaim your power. That's it, guys. That is what this is about. Reclaiming your power. Reclaiming where you are. Know thyself. That is it of the tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you next week. Mary Park till we marry meet again.